Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. This week I am hoping to get the little area of the guest room finished. I ordered a few more things that have come in, so I have a few things to show you. We got some packages around here today, so I thought I would quickly show you what I got, including the shirt that I'm wearing. So, first off is this vase, which I really like. You can see it's pretty big, so for $29.99 Canadian, I thought that was a great price considering its quality, and I was saying on Instagram, I think it would be a great item to keep on hand um, as an extra for gifting because it would be a great housewarming gift or if you're going over to someone's house to visit and you want to take them flowers, I think it's a really nice thing to take someone. I also really love this tea towel. I actually went ahead and ordered the same one, but I think it had a white um, window pane pattern through it. So I was happy with this and it feels nice. This cutting board I just got as like a styling accessory for in the kitchen, but would also be great for like a charcuterie board or something. You can still see I've got the plastic on it. And then this table runner took me by surprise. It looks really good quality. It's nice and thick. And I love this striping detail through it. So I think I'm gonna put this in the kitchen on our banquette seating. I got some basic tank tops, not super exciting, but I needed to replace them. So I ordered two different styles. They both came in two packs with a black and a white. This is my favorite. I'm wearing the black one today. And I like how the neckline is, but also this covers your bra straps. This does not. So I'm not sure if I'm going to return this pack and get another one of that. But anyways, in the neckline, yeah, the neckline is just not as nice. And then, let me show you the shirt that I'm wearing. So I really like this. It does need a bit of a steam because it's got some creasing, but you can see it's a, a greeny color. It scoops low at the back, so you could wear it with leggings. Um, it would also look really cute with work pants or with jeans tucked in, lots of different styling options. I guess you could also do it undone, but I really liked that. Um, and what else did I get? So I did order a second of the tea towel. This was the same as the other one, but I thought it was good to keep, like, again, for housewarming. Um, this is wallpaper for the guest bedroom. So it is board and batten kind of style. It actually says it's, like, wall doctor, so you can put it over cracks and whatever because it is, I guess, a thicker wallpaper. It does have a texture. So, I don't know why you would go through the effort to like cut board and batten when you can just put this up. I guess if you're doing board and batten on a straight flat wall, then that would be easy. But I was talking to someone about installing it in their kitchen or bathroom, which seemed annoying. So anyways, and then the material that I was going to do for the headboard in the guest room came. So this is actually a curtain, but I thought it was like an inexpensive way to get what I was looking for. So you can see it's a linen material. I really like the color. I did order two of these because I think I mentioned in the last vlog that I was unsure. Basically, when I started to research the style of headboard and I realized I never put a picture up on the screen in that video, um, that the bed skirt normally matches a headboard. So I ordered bed skirts without knowing if they were going to match. But I actually think it might be a good enough match that I don't need to make a bed skirt. I guess it's one of th those things you just need to try. So I'm thinking I'll make the headboard cover, then put this on, see how it looks. If it looks bad, then I'll take the other curtain and I will cut it and I guess staple it to the bed frame because it's just like a wood bed frame in that room. I'm just up in the guest room looking at this fabric. So I did tell you it was curtains, but they are very sheer. And when you double them up, you can't really tell, but they become like, you can kind of see, it becomes trippy. I don't know how to explain it, but it's all like weird on camera and even in person. Um, so this is with one layer. But I had to put this, which is just a piece of fabric I had, 
and this fabric isn't big enough to cover the whole the whole thing either so that's another problem here's the pile of fabric going on in the bed so i'm just kind of feeling like maybe i just need to order proper fabric i just wanted this to be like an inexpensive diy but it's not turning out to be that way also this skirt the bed skirt that i got isn't the right color no thank you so anyways i'm not sure what i'm gonna do yet i have to clean up this mess <laughs> because i ripped out some curtains that were at the bottom of the stack the other day and it made a mess but i never took a proper before photo so i'm thinking of moving this out of the way putting the old thing back clearing this off taking a before video um and photo and then we're going to work on the headboard because i finally got material that's going to work perfect here's one of the curtain panels that i got on amazon so it was a two pack for i think 39 dollars, which i think is cheaper than you could actually buy material so this is what we're going to use for the headboard you can see it's got a linen look to it um it's creamy with little like specks i guess you could say so that is what we are going to use for the french seam headboard here's a look at the full curtain panel so you can see the top where the grommets are um and then the side seam is like this and this is what i want the bottom is thicker so i'm going to unpick this restitch it to look like this and once that's done we'll move on to the next step so i just took out this seam my seam ripper um and i'm going to do the same on the other panel of curtains now so i finished hemming or fixing the seam on both of the curtain panels. And now I've just got those edges at the top here. So this is the top of the headboard. I've got my two perfect corners matched up right here. And I put it all along to the edge. And then I put a pin to mark that edge where approximately it goes. It doesn't need to be accurate. And then I did the same from here to the top just approximate. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the two panels together and only sew those two lines so that it lines up with this. I will pin it together so you can see, but that is what I'm thinking of doing. And then I can fit it over with those two corners, mark the end with some pins, and then just do a quick sew down the side. And I think it's going to be really easy. I'm just making a little pocket. Also, how cute is my little sewing setup right now? I love it. So cute. I'm. This is driving me insane though, the shedding on this. I never noticed it before. But after I moved it here, my leggings, I've put through the wash twice and there's still little hairs and you can see them on my leggings from picking things off the floor. Like, I guess I was measuring this on the floor. So that is annoying. I feel like I've filmed this a million times for Instagram because I'm trying to think of the best way to explain this in a short amount of time. So I'm finished with the hemming and I have got this on the headboard. So I've got my two finished edges here and it's running all the way along. And essentially what we are going to do is we are going to sew these two panels together and it's going to create a pocket that slides over the headboard. So we're going to have two finished stitched together edges as well as the top one and the bottom is going to be the opening so it slides over if that makes sense so what i did is i took my pins i've had these since high school and i have marked where approximately it's going to end over there and where approximately it ends down here and i'm going to sew this edge and this edge together with the other panel and then once that's finished i'll be able to slip it over the headboard pull it tight and then pin along the edge so I know where to sew there. And then we'll also get an accurate idea of where I should be hemming this bottom part along here, which isn't a big deal, but I do want to do it properly. I'm kind of rethinking what I just said I was gonna do because basically when I sew these together, I was thinking of just putting them together like this. So the insides are together like that and stitching along and stitching along but then you'll have this on the side rather than this and i could use some hemming tape to stick them together 
so it would look fine from the front. I think that would still be fine. I don't know, I'm second guessing it. I think I am gonna use hemming tape. So this is just like iron-on tape that you would use to hem something, and I'm gonna sandwich it between these and just iron it so that it's nice and flat, and then I can stitch a line down it after. Things are taking shape, so I stitched this side and this side. I did iron the top, but I need to iron the side still, and then I am gonna use those pins and pin down the side so I know exactly where to sew, and I need to pull it a little bit tighter. You can see I do need to iron this, and then I need to hem both the front piece and the back piece because it's going to be just like a little pocket that slides over. So we're getting there. It's looking pretty good so far. I just finished cutting off all the extra fabric. So I am going to finish this side like I did the other the top and the other side. So turn it in on both sides and stitch along. And then on the bottom, I'm going to turn it over and do a nice finished seam, but I'm not attaching them together because we still want it to be able to slide over the headboard. I finished ironing and everything and slid it on and it looks perfect. So because I have some leftover fabric, what I'm thinking of doing is taking the finished edge and just stapling it to this wood frame. I do have this bed skirt and I think we talked about it earlier in the week that with this style of bed, the skirt is supposed to match. So that's why I am thinking of doing this versus this, but we just need to double check we've got enough fabric, but I'm pretty sure we do. I lifted the mattress off the bed so it would make it a little bit easier, but this is hemmed and finish seams and now I'm just going to make sure that it's just touching the ground and then staple it on. So should be pretty easy. It is finished and it looks so good. We're losing light so the headboard looks way darker and the window is shining on the foot of the bed. Um, and I was going to put the nightstand back but I don't want to like give away the full look because I want to put this beadboard wallpaper up on the wall. It's textured. I think we maybe spoke about it before, but once it's on the wall, it's going to look like real beadboard and you could paint it. I'm probably going to leave it white. And I think I've even said this before. I generally don't love feature walls, but because this is white and it's going to be subtle, plus I think in a multi-purpose space, that it really helps make the bedroom portion of it feel like its own special unique spot rather than a space within a space. I set up the laser level so that when we start this wallpapering, it's going to be straight. I'm hoping that it's quite a small wall, so this is hopefully not going to take too long. And this wallpaper is different than wallpaper I've used in the past. It is pre-pasted, so supposedly I need to fill this bucket with water. Thank goodness I had one that just fits and we need to cut pieces and soak it in there and then let it sit and then hang it on the wall and it just seems like it's not gonna be fun. So that's great, but um, yeah, I'm gonna start working on this. The light in this shower room is not working, um, but I gotta tell you, I do not have good feelings about this whole pre-pasted wallpaper situation. I had to go get a towel because it's wet and Thank goodness I only have the one wall. So it's doing its little uh, soaking thing. We have lost light, so it is a little dark in here. I do apologize. Uh, I got two strips of wallpaper up. Uh, it is pretty annoying. And the packaging said to use an X-Acto knife to cut it, and that isn't working. So that's pretty annoying, but um, going well and... I've noticed the color is very different once you soak it. See how like white it is, but then on there it's very, I don't know, brown. So I think it'll probably dry a different, uh, different color. And then it says in 24 hours you can paint it. So if it doesn't look the way I want, then I will eventually paint it. So I'm gonna continue on. My trusty little helper. So it looks finished, but uh, we ran out. Isn't that so annoying? And it won't come till Monday. So I'm just going to put it all back 
take pictures, pretend it's finished, but I'm going to fix that next week. It's looking really, really good though. What do you think? Have you been a big help? I'm going to have to show you in daylight tomorrow, but it looks so good. And Finny is enjoying this. The one thing I'm wondering, it's hard to tell, like on camera, this looks way darker than it does in person. Um, so I don't know if it's just the lighting or if I do need to pull this off and put something like white behind it so it isn't pulling colors from the old headboard. It's the next day and it's looking so cute. The beadboard wallpaper has dried. I think it looks just as good as regular beadboard. You can see the texture on it. So I'm really happy with that. I don't even think I'm going to paint it, to be completely honest with you. The headboard looks good. The bed skirt looks good. I think the nightstand might be a little bit tall, so I did wonder about cutting that little part off the bottom. So decide about that still but I really love how this turned out it looks so good I also was thinking of maybe putting like a little bit of art on the wall but not gonna rush to do that I want to think about it I hope you enjoyed that little budget friendly space makeover I still have the rest of the room to continue to make over but this little section is finished until I find some art but other than that I hope you have an amazing week and I did notice that over 70% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel. So if you're one of those people, I would really appreciate if you did hit that subscribe button.